Only three weeks. I can't wait. It'll be a wedding to remember. Yeah. Well, thanks to our folks. Yeah. But your dad took a little work. Well, I mean, he was just worried about money. You know he's old school that way. Yeah, I mean, we'll be fine. Two can live cheaper than one. Yeah. I figure we don't have any more debt than any other young couple getting married. No, let's see. I've got a little car payment. We can handle that. See, school loans are no big deal. We'll hardly feel that. Thank you. She was nice, wasn't she? Yeah, big tip for her. Yeah. Oh. By the way, we saved money on the honeymoon package. I mean, I figure it'll cost us less than three thousand dollars total. And Uncle Sal ought to be good for at least half that. Are you sure we can afford the big apartment, though? I mean, I'd be happy living in the smaller one. Don't be silly, babe. I'm in line for that good raise, remember? I'm sorry, sir. This card came up rejected. Why?、Well, that's not possible. I'm sure it's just a problem with our machine. Okay, sure. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> Those machines can be finicky. Tell me about it. Why else would they reject it? Hey, but it was the machine. I mean, don't worry about it. It just never happened to me before. I've always paid on time. I know you do. I mean, it only makes sense. I mean, those credit card companies can really stick it to you, you know. Yeah. But what would we do without them? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, the convenience alone is worth it. Plus, I hate carrying cash around. Yeah, I mean, it's just too dangerous nowadays. Well, all of them? I'm afraid so. Well, even this one. <sighs> Guess I'll have to pay with cash. <laughs> oh. We are honored to have Dr. Willard and Joyce Harley of Marriage Builders here today to help us find the better when it comes to finances <laughs> in marriage. And one of the books that Dr. Harley has written is entitled "Love Busters: Protecting Your Marriage from Habits That Destroy Romantic Love."、Mm. And in here, there's a section on financial planning as a part of marriage. Welcome, guys. Good to be、Thank、with you. you. So glad you're here. here. Now, Dr. Harley, you were talking a little bit about your marriage vows. Is that right? Well, you were talking about the four worst parts、yes. of marriage. Well, when we were married, <clears throat> Joyce hadn't anticipated any worst parts. Yes. And we had we had memorized our wedding vows. Okay. Okay.、Uh-huh. So I, I I I got mine out correctly. Correctly. <laughs>、uh, love and joy and in sorrow, sickness、yeah. and in health, plenty、yes. and want. And when it came to Joyce's turn, she said she would love me in joy and in happiness, in, in plenty and, and in、well. health. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not a negative was there. No, not a negative. Bill、right. yeah, is on,、uh, you know, he's. I've on been、nothing. on my toes. Yeah, yeah I would imagine. Let's just pray <laughs> there's no downturn. Well, the pastor could have said, Joyce, would you like to repeat those? Yeah. <laughs> But he didn't. No, no I was so, dazed. Bill definitely is on guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well,、right. you've evidently done all right because after all, how so many years? So far, so good. Forty-seven years. Forty-seven years. years.、Yeah. Good. You must have been twelve. <laughs> must be all health. I had a little wedding dress. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's all health and wealth. Then, yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So tell me, is it true that finances are still one of the biggest reasons why couples fight? There's actually five reasons why couples five, fight. Five. All right. They all, all right. They all kind of fall under the same category of. What we call independent behavior, which is、mm-hmm. that、uh, you behave as if your spouse doesn't exist.、Mm-hmm. You're just going to go do ahead, do what you're, whatever you feel like doing.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't think about your spouse when you do it. But the five are friends and relatives,、mm-hmm. conflicts over friends and relatives, conflicts over time management. 
Mm-hmm. Con- time conflicts over how to raise your children. Yeah, that's big. Conflicts over finances yeah. and conflicts over sex. Okay. And and I've read books where all five of them have been named as the number one. The cause number one, of yeah. yes, yeah. of yeah. course. Okay. The number one <laughs> cause, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but it's uh, the issue is uh, conflict management in general. In yeah. other words, how how do you solve conflicts? And uh, finances are a big deal. Yeah, and if you don't know how to resolve conflicts in your marriage, co- financial problems are sure to appear, and mm-hmm. they could actually destroy your marriage if you don't handle them correctly. Mm-hmm. So is it mainly mounting debt that gets people in trouble? Is it the economic downturns that gets them in trouble? Or is it just acting like my spouse doesn't exist when I make financial decisions? Yeah, my, my experience basically is it's the latter. Okay. That, that basically you can, you, uh, we know for a fact that people that have won the lottery mm-hmm. do very poorly. Isn't that right. something? Yeah. On average. It's amazing. Yeah. You know, in other words, it, it isn't the amount of money you have. It, it isn't even a, the amount of debt you have. Yeah. Uh, it, it isn't that you've lost your job. It isn't that, um, uh, that, that you've had unexpected uh, medical expenses. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is how to handle adversity, how to handle conflict. And I've told my clients over and over again that the biggest problem that you have in your marriage is the way you address the problem. Hmm. Yeah. And if you could stop making demands on each other, if right. you could stop being disrespectful toward each other, if you could stop having angry outbursts, mm-hmm. and if you could stop what I call independent behavior, just going off and doing what you please without talking to your spouse, yeah. none of the problems would be nearly as serious as they are now. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a form of conflict management Mm -hmm. that is what we really need to be talking about today as opposed to how much debt can a marriage survive you know it's amazing how money can be such a volatile subject too Mm -hmm. you know it it just Mm -hmm. i just amaze at how couples can separate over not agreeing on financial issues yeah Yeah. you know we hear this word um control issue they're trying to control me is this does this come into play with the whole financial picture for couples this is really where the negotiations come in. You won't feel controlled if truly you are negotiating. Negotiating is a win-win. Exactly. Mm. So it's not like you're going to get your item this time, yeah. and the next time I get mm-hmm. mine, and you're not going to like it, but it was yeah. my turn to get yeah. it. You it was know? My turn, yeah. <laughs> the idea is that every time something is purchased or paid out, it will be a win-win. You both will have agreed to this. So mm. the whole idea of negotiation, right, Bill? Yeah, basically, uh, control and abuse go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you're in a controlling marriage, you're in an abusive marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Abusive means you're controlling. Control means I'm trying to get my way at my spouse's expense. That's really what it is. Mm -hmm. And control, of course, finance. I mean, if you're earning all the money... And, and you decide that because of that, you have a right to decide mm-hmm. how it's going to mm-hmm. be spent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your wife is going to be very upset yes, with is. that decision. Yeah. You know, and, and the argument that, well, I'm the one earning the money isn't uh, going no. to convince her one <laughs> single bit because she figures you and she are partners. One and, flesh and you is both have different be, functions. You yeah. happen to be earning the money. Yeah. That doesn't give you the right to spend it as you it, please. But it I hear not. that, and I think, what a temptation, though, to feel that way. Oh, sure. sure. You put out sure. the eight hours a day, yeah. seven days a week, maybe, maybe yeah. eight days a week. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, you think, okay, I worked very hard for this. Yeah. And you're at home spending it while I'm out earning yeah. it. Yeah. Some, yeah. I feel like, you know, the floodgates are open and I keep trying to pour water in yeah. and I'm not able to keep above. Well, so, so you can well, see the frustration yeah. on the wage earner yeah. uh, and why they have to come together and say, here's how we're going to do it so you don't get frustrated. And right now my producer is frustrated, so I have to take a break. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back after this. Welcome back. We've been talking about money with Dr. Willard and Joyce Harley. Now, can you give us uh, some idea about how people usually try to go about s- solving their financial difficulties? Yeah, we could talk about any conflict, but now that we're talking about finances, okay. there are three mm-hmm. instinctive approaches to marital mm-hmm. problem solving. Okay. One is that you uh, hand Gail your checkbook and say, go out and have fun, 
Spend all the money you want. Would you like yeah. that, all right, sweetheart? I, I, I could go for you that. You could do that's, that, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, let's try that. Right yeah. now, it, it's a very <laughs> common approach yeah. in marriage. You she know, wouldn't have much fun for long. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the basic idea is that you let your spouse do anything they want to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second approach, again, that's instinctive, is that you do whatever you want to do. Okay. You just make up, make up your own mind, and your spouse yells bloody murder, yeah. and you end up and fighting about it. Right. Mm-hmm. But that, that's, that's the second approach. Okay. The third approach is, is, is a very interesting problem in America especially, because we're seeing a lot of this in marriage. And that is, when it comes to finance, you do things independently. Mm. You know, I, you have separate checking accounts, mm-hmm. you have separate incomes, uh, you have separate vacations. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, basically you just live separate, separate lives. lives. Mm-hmm. And so you're, you're, the decisions that you make about your own mm-hmm. area of finance is your decision. Gail makes her own decisions, okay. and they're totally separate. Those are, th- those are instinctive. What mm-hmm. I'm saying uh-huh. there is they're not learned. Yeah. They're, they're things we're born with, and in most marriages... You go from one to another. Yeah. You can go from one to another in a day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, (laughs) it can happen (laughs) quickly that you can say, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I have a right to make my own choices in this. Mm. You can have a fight about the way you've spent, or you can say, listen, you do anything you please. I'm happy with the way you you make your decisions. Now, the right way to make decisions, which we will be talking about more, Mm -hmm. uh, is that somehow or other, we've got to come to what I call an enthusiastic agreement about every single financial mm. decision. Now, wait a minute. That means that both Gail and I have to enthusiastically yeah. agree. Not just agree, but right. enthusiastically. Not Giving her your checkbook but... is not enthusiastic. No, I'm not going to be enthusiastic <laughs> about that. Yeah, Nor would right. she be yeah. with me spending it no, either. That's <laughs> right. not and work. notice you're both being enthusiastic about yeah. this decision. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's that's a win-win. Right. Ma- making decisions uh, independently where you're going to fight about it, yeah. that's not enthusiastic. And then, of course, separating it out. Mm-hmm. You see... That's kind of a last-ditch effort to try to say, well, we can't agree on anything, so let's... You spend your money, I'll spend mine. You know, when when people do that, I see them fighting still because, well, I paid the mortgage, you know, you can pay more of this, you know, and they they can't agree on who's going to pay which part. Whenever you see a fight, they're dropping into that second category that I talked about. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, you're still connected, you're still connected, but you're very, very selfish, Right. Mm -hmm. see? And, And so you have this very generous approach, a selfish approach, and a, a, what I call withdrawal, where you're just not, hanging, you're not having anything yeah. to do with each other. Yeah. And, and my feeling is that in finance, it is so easy to drop into those three approaches. Mm. And somehow or other, I have to teach couples to do something that is not at all instinctive, mm-hmm. but makes a lot of sense. And that is get into the habit of making decisions together, together with enthusiasm and it takes a lot of practice yeah. a lot of skill once you get good at it though your financial problems are a thing of the past now you really? may you may not have enough money uh, but yeah. that you see it doesn't have to be a marital problem right see, it's the difference between right. having enough money and having financial problems i mean right. you know we can be poor but still not have financial problems because we're not going to fight about this we're a team and exactly. it's okay and how wonderful to be spending money together yeah it's like you use the word team and i yes, think that's very te- important it's a team approach isn't it it's not the independent approach yeah, yeah. And I think that we have some friends who illustrate that about, you know, uh, sometimes when we have a problem between oh, yeah. us, we about- every time I look at that problem, I see you and you become the problem. Mm-hmm. But if I move it out here, <laughs> then we're a team right. solving we- the problem. We, we're going to fix this thing over here. Exactly. But that's, that's not us. That's really, no. We're a team. We're a team. Yeah. I look at you, I don't see the problem. The problem's over here and we're a team going to fix There's it. So and that's really what you're describing. That approach. Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, when things go wrong, for example... Uh-huh. Uh, you, you both made the decision. That's right. Yeah. We're not going to, who are we going to blame? Yeah. 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 Well, it, it it's happens. us. Now, yeah. we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> when, when you have to compromise on something and you come out of that, that and, you know, you haven't had to give a little bit and maybe you haven't ended up with a decision that would have been your first choice, your favorite, how do you then enthusiastically 
endorse See, that's that. my point. Mm -hmm. My point is you, you shouldn't make that kind of a decision. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you... Right. Uh -huh. The compromise okay. doesn't mean that I'm going to be giving up something valuable to me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not replace it with something just as valuable. Okay. See, I mean, see, my argument about mm -hmm. negotiation is that God has given us a brain that is magnificent. And we have the ability to make decisions that come out of very creative thinking. And so if I can incubate for a while, Joyce says, here's the problem. I can't necessarily think of a solution right away, mm -hmm. or she can't think of a solution. But if we understand the problem and we think about it, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking about, okay, how is this going to work for Joyce? Yeah. And she's thinking about, how is this going to work for Bill? Mm -hmm. And the two of us come up then together and say, hey, how would you think of, what do you think yeah. about this? Would this, would this yeah. be a good idea? And and all of a sudden you hit the you hit the mother load. Yeah. Yeah. You have a solution ah. and it just so. seems to have come from nowhere and it's the way God looking made at her. it from each other's point of view, That's it's right. an unselfish That's right. approach and that's So helps I'm, I'm us not looking come at, something better. At, at giving up any of my interests yeah. in solving the problem. Yeah. And I don't want Joyce to either. Yeah. See, I want us to be intelligent, I want us to be creative. Yeah. And like I say, that approach to problem solving is not instinctive. All right. Well, we've got more coming up, and we will be right back right after this. Welcome back to Mad About Marriage. We're talking about finances today and their effect on marriage. And uh, I understand that you have some negotiating points for us, some some uh, yeah, basically guidelines. When it, yeah, whenever there is a, a conflict, and, and financial conflicts abound oh, in yeah. marriage, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, I've, I've, I've said to people uh, many times that every hour that Joyce and I are together, we have a conflict about something. Oh, have really? You, have you seen it yet? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we handle them very gracefully because we have been in the habit of so resolving conflicts the right way. So we get through them very quickly. Mm -hmm. Nobody's mm -hmm. unhappy. Everybody's, you know, it works well. But here is basically the procedure that I recommend for mm -hmm. couples that are having financial conflicts okay. or any other. <clears throat> the first thing is that, that uh, negotiation mm -hmm. has to be an enjoyable process. Hmm. And it has to be safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. In other words, when you bring up any issue that you have a disagreement about. There should never be any frowns. Rolling of eyes, Ooh, sighs. Yeah. There should Happy. never be any yes. disrespect. Yeah. There should never be any demands. Nobody should get angry. Okay. If you do any of those things, break it off. You're, you're, you're going to get nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to have an environment, and you have to think this way, that, that when your spouse comes to you and says, you know, I've got a problem we should discuss, mm -hmm. you think, oh, good, this will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is how it is. Really never never hit my challenge. mind, but okay, yeah. we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> in other words, the process of negotiation in business certainly is mm -hmm. not an unpleasant experience yeah. for most people. They like it, they yeah. enjoy it, and that's the way it should be for marriage. Okay, <laughs> okay the, second, the second guideline mm -hmm. is that you should gather information about the way your spouse reacts to the problem and the perspective that your spouse has about the problem. So right. if we have a co conflict, mm -hmm. uh, Joyce wants to get a new bedroom set, I want to get a new boat. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. It, it makes sense to me. The boat so, really right. works. <laughs> and I say, you know. Always sleeping on a mattress. Oh, well. Yeah. I said, we haven't had a new boat in three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, We've time. never had a bedroom it's, it's Yeah, slow. there you go. So, this so, is not true, by the way. Oh, yeah. I understand. <laughs> so Joyce, Joyce, the, uh, Joyce and I say, okay, we'll discuss it. And we, ha we understand that what we're headed for is an enthusiastic agreement. We're not right. going to do anything right. until we're both enthusiastic about it. Okay. And so uh, I have to, my job is to understand Joyce's perspective mm -hmm. about the bedroom set. Mm -hmm. And I also have to understand her perspective about the boat. Right. Mm -hmm. So I ask her a lot of questions, right. and I have to do it with great respect. Of course. If I show any disrespect, I'm going to lose my cause. Yes, you are. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So <clears throat> she does the same with me. Okay. So that's the second step. And we got about a minute okay. and a half of the last two. The third step is brainstorming. Think of anything you can possibly think of. Gotcha. And the fourth step is don't make a decision until you're both enthusiastic about what you've decided. This takes practice. Of course. You have to spend a lot of time doing this, mm -hmm. getting, getting good at it. Mm -hmm. Once you're good at it, 
financial conflicts become a breeze. Yeah. And it's effortless then to negotiate this yeah. way. Mm -hmm. right. I think sometimes with the enthusiastic agreement, you really have to put yourself in a mindset of, I'm going to choose to be happy about this because this is what we've come up with together. This, is, this makes the most sense for us together as a team. And so I'm going to I'm going so I'm to enthusiastic mm -hmm. in, I'm I'm going to be enthusiastic about it. I'm going to support this. That makes sense. The other way of looking at it, though, and, and this is I, I I want you to look at it from your selfish perspective. Yeah. I want you to be enthusiastic because you think it's a good deal for you. Okay. Yeah. I really do. I, so I we've encourage come people all the way to that point. I encourage people to be mm -hmm. selfish about the final decision. Mm -hmm. And and when you do that. Everybody follows through on their happy. commitments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. It's a win-win. Okay. You don't get any passive-aggressive reactions. Well, that's right. great. No sacrifices. <laughs> no sacrifices. You know, I, I really love your approach to things. It's very, very and positive. It's, it's very practical. And it's, it is, has been extremely helpful to a lot of people for a lot of years. So thank you very much. Thank you. It's our pleasure. We will be back with a final word right after this. We've had a wonderful discussion today on finances with Dr. Willard and Joyce Harley. And we want to hear just your last word of advice. What do you say to couples that need help with finances? Okay. They are solvable. Mm. And together, the two heads are better than one. That's right. Bill? Yeah, basically, the way in which you go about solving your problems is more important than the problem itself. And if you can learn how to solve the problem with each other's interests in mind, solve it in a caring way. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't agree with sacrificing my interests because then that'd be selfish for the other person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I, I believe instead in coming up with an enthusiastic mutual agreement that in my experience as a marriage counselor can be done with just about any problem a couple faces. Wow. Thank you. You are an absolute delight. That's I wish right. the people w w viewing this program could see you off camera. You're fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're fun. And you're a lot of Good fun, stuff. too. Thanks for being here with us. We will see you again next time. But until then, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye, guys. For more information on handling finances in hard times, call 888-940-0062. 888 888- 9400062 Ask for the information on finances and unemployment call 888-940-0062 888-940-0062for more information on finances and unemployment or go to lifestyle.org